You brought a four-year-old. Nice, you should. Mike. Ooh. Hello. Um, so I brought a four-year-old, Miss Miss um, Miss Stephanie. Um, her name is Imberly, nice. and she's only with me till Friday. And Sweet, um, and she has a twenty-year-old, twenty sorry, twenty-year-old, twenty-month, twenty-month, like a, almost a two-year-old little brother. Very and heavy. <laughs> he he a big chunk. He a he's big chunk. He's chunky. He's a chunky bunky. Um, but he doesn't sleep. <laughs> so I've had five cups of coffee today. Yeah. I think yeah. that's my problem. I've not I know. had but one. Yeah, I am what have you only had one? Yes. I had five. That's terrible. No, I had like two and then I had an well maybe I maybe I had like six. I don't remember. Um so I'm running on I'm I'm gonna remember here. But we're here. Um so uh Shiloh Sh- Shiloh, did I say it rightly? Shiloh, Shiloh um, drew our little stick man last week. Can somebody tell us what the keywords were from last week? Look at that. I love it. They're opening their folders. Oh, they yes. Like they're prepared. Eleanor, what were the keywords from last week? Uh, seven. Seven. We're on eight now. Lucky this week. seven. Bible. Bible. Really? You couldn't yeah. read your own writing. Yeah, I, gotcha. I think belief would work too. Faith. Okay, so that was the that was the faith and the belief thing. Yeah. Faith, faith, trust, and belief. Belief, yeah. Bible, it yeah. all yeah. works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so what did what, what was it about? Can somebody recap what was it about? We got uh, Bobby. Or anything. Just wh- what do you remember from last week other than faith, trust, and Bible? Uh huh. The Wesleyan quadrilateral, excellent. It wasn't actually coined. That term Wesleyan quadrilateral it wasn't coined by John Wesley. It was coined by somebody else, based off of John Wesley's. Um, I hope you don't writings. want me to know who that no, is. No, I, 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 do I, I don't. I think it starts with an, like a like all A or O or like um, some vowel <laughs> begins with the last name. That's what I'm remembering in my yeah. head. Yeah. Yeah. All right. What else you got? Oh, uh, what is this one? Oh, um, Ella. Ella. Um, um, um core. Um, yes, that was like two. What nice. is um, core? What is UMCOR? Um, um, on Relief. United Methodist Community on Relief? Committee. Committee. Committee on Relief. You're amazing, Mr. Aaron. Everyone give a big round of applause whoop, to Mr. Whoop, Aaron Talbot. Whoop, 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 whoop. Howie awesome. All right, so um, Faith, Trust, Bible. What was the last part of the, oh, yes, go ahead. He wanted to add. Yes. Yeah, you all have that paper in your in your um, folders, right? This history paper, the history of the Bible. Um, where did the Bible come from? What is the Torah? What is the New Testament? What is the canon? Um, if you don't have it, we will get it to you at some point, at somehow. Um, not sure how, but that we'll was get like it. a two-minute flyover. Yeah, that was a woo woo. Yeah, all right, that was fast. I'm still running on that oh, yeah. six cups of coffee. Can you <laughs> woo woo woo? No. And then like the two-year-old, the four-year-old was like. Ah! And I'm like, come with me. Come with me right now. I was like, whoa, yeah. And then I called Mr. Aaron. I was like, "Uh, is there a child care? And he's like, yes. And I was like, okay, the 20-month-old is staying with my husband. The four-year-old's coming here. So she's making new friends. All my friends friends are here. Just like we are. Okay. Today's words. Today's words. Do we know today's words? Yes, I put them up there. Oh, good. Yeah. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Week eight. Yes, week eight. It'd be a good idea to write these down. Week eight. Week eight. Trinity, T-R-I-N-I-T-Y, 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 and prayer. Prayer, yes. Trinity and prayer. Trinity and prayer. Oh, sorry, not rare. We're not going to eat our steaks (laughs) rare. We're going to eat our steaks prayer. (laughs) Prayer. Prayer. I'm sorry I'm not from this. Prayer. We're going to talk about some Trinity and some prayer, <laughs> y'all. No, I'm not. Um, so let's start with this question. If yes. we were to ask you this question, if someone said Kenya or Eleanor or Prosper Will, who are you? How would you answer that? Now, I want to caution you that I don't want to know what you do, right? Sometimes we define ourselves by what we do. I play baseball. I teach math. <laughs> I want to know who you are. If I said, who are you, what would you say? 
Okay. All right. What would you say? A specific or unique person in this world? What would you say? You have no idea. You would say who you are. What do you think, Will? The way God created you? The way God created you? you guys are going deep. They are. I, I would say I'm a daughter. You know, yeah. like I literally am just, my mom had me, my mom and dad had me, and I'm a daughter. I'm a daughter. You know what, what I'm saying? Like yes. I'm just a daughter. What could you add to that, Hayden? Athlete. Athlete. That could be a who, not a what you do. Ford? Okay. okay, you're giving me your name. I um, like it. My Oscar, name. Oscar, what would you say? Christian. I like that. I might say I'm a sister. Yeah. What would you say, Bobby? Okay. Who else? How else could you describe yourself? We could say... What else could you say? What did you say, Miss Bonnie? You were daughter. Did you say daughter? I was a daughter. Uh-huh. Yes. A student. A student. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, you're, uh, yeah, you're students of confirmation, class. Mm, maybe mm-hmm. a cousin? What would you say? Human being? I'm a human. Curtis? I am not a robot. A worshiper? I'm, oh, I'm, I love oh, these I, I was doing robot. They're so good. Lord, you have another one? A miner? Like you go into a mine and you... <laughs> no, I know what you mean. <laughs> not funny. Will? Comperman? Comperman. Those are all really good ones. I don't know if I can spell that. So you, someone might know you, I, I would say friend. Friends, you're right? my sister, you're my friend. Right, I would know Bonnie you're as a friend. Baby. Bonnie wouldn't you're know me as a daughter, daughter. right? You ain't my daughter. I would say mother. Yeah. You'd probably say aunt. Uh, auntie, I'm an auntie. 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 Mother. Right? Lots of ways to see to say who we are, not what we do. A lot of times we talk about what we do, yeah, right, yeah, but not like who we are. Oh, Can we Ella. be all these things at once? Can I be a mother, a sister, an aunt, all at the same time? Yeah, I can. Yeah, Frazier, a, a niece. niece? Uh huh. That's a good one. A nephew, right? Can we think I of think. any more? I mean, that's a lot of. Really what we're defining here are relationships, right? Oh, relationships. This is what we're defining is our relationship with someone or maybe something. I might put that in a different Those color. were really good ones. So when we look at this evening, because we're going to talk about the Trinity. So can anybody tell me what the Trinity is before we take a look at what it is and what it, yes. Right, God the Father. I'm making relationships. We would say relationships. I like that. Relationships. So we would say God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, three. So I want you to just take a minute on your paper and write down a couple of things. If we say, who is God? Yeah. What would you say if I said, so that, we'll shout the them out. I'm going to give you about 30 seconds. Who write is a couple God? down who is God. This is fun. I'm enjoying this. Even you, there's a lot on here. I just gotta remember how to read this. I got a notebook full of stuff. Okay, what you got? Call us out yeah. a couple. Miss Bonnie's going to write them down. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Sorry. Just call them out. Somebody call one out. Ella? Whoa. A loving father, and say the rest of it? Of all human beings. I like it. Kenya, what would you say? Come on. Again? Thank you, ma'am. Creator. Yeah. Very nice. Oscar, what would you say? 
close oh, friend. Oh, a close friend. I like that. Hayden, what would you say? Leader. Leader. Bobby, what would you say? Life fulfillment. Life fulfillment. Remind me of your name. I'm trying to remember names. Carter, what would you say? Someone to speak to. It's like you're leading us into our later part of the evening. Maybe you could teach Maybe it for I us because we're going to talk about talking to God. Word, what would you say? Okay. Line and God's line. a lion and Jesus is a lamb. Shiloh, what would you say? Okay, a guide. Guide, guide, help guide their way. Did you find it hard to define, or did you find it easy? Could you come up you easy? Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's great. Sometimes it's it's hard. I think sometimes to really think about who is God. We're going to open up our Bibles and look at a couple of verses. So let's start with, where Math, are we starting? Matthew, Matthew 28, 28, 28. Matthew 28, 28 19. 19. Matthew is the first, the first book yes. in the New Testament. Sorry, I want to encourage you to bring Bibles your own Bibles. The table. Yes. Very first book of the New Testament. And we're going to chapter 28. Verse 19. Verse 19. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and then comes a king of names. Chapter 28, I believe it's the last chapter of Matthew. We're going to verse 19. Have we ever talked about like red words and black words in the Bible? I'm not sure. We, we may have mentioned it, but we I probably just, didn't dwell on it. Maybe yeah. we should. Does anybody need help finding Matthew? You're volunteering to read? 28. Eleanor? Okay. Yep, yep. 19. Eleanor's volunteered to read. We've got several other passages, so. He asked if it was it. Other people want to read. We can get Prosper to find it. Does anybody have a red and black, like, letters in your Bible? Like, you know, I'm talking about red and black. What does it mean? I'm kind of, like, I'm, like, why are there red words? Jordan knows. Jordan, why are there red and black in the Bible? Red is when Jesus speaks. Right. Red is when Jesus speaks. Gotcha. Okay. What but not all the translations do that. Yeah. Right? Correct. Not all of them do. No, yeah. I think most, but not most all. Most of them, yeah. Like the message, I don't yeah, think does. Okay, so Ellen, everybody got 20? Do you, need, you got it, Hayden? You got it, Harland. You got it. You got it? You got it, yeah. 28-19. 28-19. Oh, you have to read. Um, I told Eleanor she could read, but we got like at least two more things that we can, we're going to look 19, up, so. 19. Okay, we're ready? All right, Eleanor, tell us what, do you know the version of the Bible you're reading out of? Do you know how to find it? No. Does it say on the spine? Uh, it's an NIV, there we go. NIV. Mm. Yeah, it should have NIV. Okay, all right. I'm just starting at 19. Yeah. Verse 19 all only. All the way to the end. Yeah. Verse 19. 19. Okay. Yeah, yeah, just 19. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptize them in the name of the Holy Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, what is Jesus saying there? Go make what? We talked about this, I think, that like one of the first days. Prosper? Go make others believers of God. Mm -hmm. And we talked about baptism a couple of weeks ago. And what is Jesus saying there? Baptizing them in the name of what? Yeah. Right, and so there's a mention of the Trinity, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The three pe persons of God, that's what we say, is the Trinity. So there's one place that we can see the Trinity. Um, I also want to make point that this is, um, is this considered like a, one of the, like a famous Bible verse? It's, we 
There's a, there's a um, it's called the Great Commission. I mean, the Great we, Commission. I think we read part of it, yeah. like the first or second week. Yeah. The go making disciples. Therefore, go. Mm-hmm. And it's an action word. Yeah. Go and make. So you go and do action. Action. Go, don't don't just go and sit. You don't just sit there. You go and make disciples. Right. You see what I'm saying? So I I put that like maybe maybe that's something to put down in your notes for today. Okay. Yep. Now we're going to go to Genesis. So we just did the first book of the New Testament. So does anybody know what the actual definition of Genesis means? Beginning. Beginning. Mm -hmm. So go to the beginning of your Bible. Go to the beginning, Genesis chapter 1. And if you know the creation story, this might be a little a little piece of information that you have not noticed before. I know I had not noticed it before I really studied the creation story, but we're going to be in Genesis 128 chapter 1 verse 28 uh, 26, Miss Bonnie. 26, I'm sorry. Genesis 1:26. And I want you to notice how God describes himself in this verse. So who was going to be my second reader? Oh, that's on Pros verse Sam first. 26? Yes. Everybody got Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Everybody got it? Anybody need help finding it? Everybody got it? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Then God said, let's make mankind in our own image and in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all creatures that move along the ground. So this is in the very beginning, and how did God describe himself there? Anybody point out? Ooh, and I'm trying to think of the part of speech. What is that, a pronoun? Um, Is it a pronoun? It's a pronoun. I don't know. What pronoun does he use? In that passage. Us. Us. Let, wait, wait, who's we God? Wait, let us, it says, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image, in our likeness. Wait, 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 God, wait, whoa, I'm confused. God is talking to somebody, but God is just God, wait. This is God at the beginning of the Bible when he's making creation. So who is he talking about? Let us? Who, who is this us? What do you think, Bobby? Jesus. And there's one other. The Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah, yeah, the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. Yeah. Same person. At the very beginning, In we the can very, see Did you guys God. ever even notice that? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Then God Good. said, let us make man in our image, in our likeness. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put that down. Let us... So in the very beginning, he's establishing the plural, that there are three parts, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit there, the Trinity. In the very beginning, we see that. There's so it, it not only was in the beginning of the New, or old, it was in the New Testament, the go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It was in the beginning of the New Testament, and it's now, it, we now discover that it was already in the beginning of the Old Testament, way before Jesus' time, way before Jesus became a man on this earth, he was already in existence. Yeah, which is, That's I mean, of, this is a very deep theological. It's mind-blowing idea that is kind of hard to wrap your brain around Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. three in one that we say let's read one more verse out of john so we're flipping back and forth and so we're back in the new testament we're going to go to john matthew mark luke john the fourth gospel chapter 10 and we're going to read verses are we doing 30 to 36? 30 to 36. John. It's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So I'm going to go to the New Testament. Jeremiah, Matthew, Luke, Luke, Luke. There's Luke. And then Luke. Flip to John. I really get to do quite a bit of a I love it. Bible drills. This is one of my favorite. Thing. Sword drills. Go. Sword drills. And I think Hayden wanted to read. Right, Hayden? Am I wrong? John 10. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Yep. Chapter 10. I mean, basically, mostly verse, verse 30. 30. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we I don't think really. We, I think we can just do verse 30. 
Yeah, verse 30. Let's we just read verse 30, Hayden. You got it? Chapter 10, verse 30. I and the Father are one. Okay, so Jesus is speaking here, right? That he is declaring that he and the Father are one. Okay, in this passage, Jesus is responding to these leaders who are questioning his authority. And he says, I have authority because I and my Father are actually one. Um, mm-hmm. So that's in, that's in John 10, 30. So you can see there again the plural... Yes, Will, you have a question? Yes, that's right. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Fraser. Trent, there, okay, so there is, like, there are church, like, so Trinity can be used as a name. Like, I have a, I have a student in my class, her name is Trinity. Um, but I, there's also a church here in Augusta named Trinity on the Hill, United Methodist Church. And um, so it can, it's a name of a church, too. But in our definition of Trinity, Triangle, tricycle, you see the three, right? The tri, T-R-I, tri, three. So it's the Trinity is the, like God the Father, God. So the Trinity, if you're talking about like the capital T for Trinity, that'd be God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, okay? So yes, people have named their children like Trinity or Trinity on the Hill or things like that. So it's, does that help? Let's read what the, I'm going to read here what the United Methodists um, says about uh, the Holy Trinity, okay, and this is from the Articles of Religion. Mm-hmm. Well, no, Miss Bonnie, is that in the Book of Discipline, or this uh, is it, some separate? I would I would assume that it is inside the Book of Discipline. Yes. So Article 1 of Faith in the Holy Trinity. So listen to what it says. There is but one living and true God, everlasting, without body or parts, of infinite power, wisdom, and goodness, the maker and preserver of all things, both visible and invisible. And in unity of this Godhead, there are three persons, one of substance, power, and eternity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Um, Who knows at what point we see in the Bible, like the Holy Spirit? Anybody know? Prosper? Okay. Yeah, that's actually. That's good. awesome. That's a yeah. great. That's a that's that a is example. an example of the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament. Mm-hmm. I like that, Bob, Bobby. Okay, maybe the courage. The courage. David. Yeah. Yeah. You're 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 hinting at what I was getting at, which is once we become Christians, mm-hmm. because we serve a living Savior, right, who died and was resurrected and is living, we are gifted the Holy Spirit. So if you're a Christian, you actually have the power of Jesus inside of you. Mm-hmm. And so, and that's, I think that's hard to understand. Mm-hmm. Don't you, Miss Bonnie? I have people have told me before, mm-hmm. you're different. Yeah. And I don't think it's just because I'm weird, mm-hmm. right? Does that mean, mm-hmm. I know I'm, I know <laughs> I'm, I know I'm weird, yeah. but I've had people say, oh, you, you're different. There's something yeah. different about you. Mm-hmm. And I know that when they're saying that to me, I know it's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know I'm, I know I'm weird. <laughs> But this differentness is like, why are you always such a nice person? Or why, why did you help me when you didn't have to? Yeah. It's because the Holy Spirit is calling in my life to help them. Right? So listen, I don't want you to misunderstand because it, be, it can be hard. Theologically, we can focus on both. We can focus on the three in one, but we are not... Uh, we are a monotheistic. Mono, is that monotheistic? Is that the word? Monotheistic and polytheism, we just serve right? one God. One it's God. Not like we serve three, three gods. Yeah, three and one. We have three and one, and that can be hard. And sometimes, um, you know, we can focus on the plurality, the the different nature of God: God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, or just on the one. We can we can focus on either one. So don't don't let that confuse you. Um, so with my four year old, because we the, the four year old now. Um, but she's going to go back to um, some other family members on Friday. But with this four-year-old, we're saying prayers every night. Mm-hmm. And it helps her. We say, dear Jesus. Mm-hmm. Some people say, dear God. Right? Mm-hmm. And it doesn't matter who we're praying with as, or praying to mm-hmm. as long as we're praying to God. It could be God the Father or God the Son or God the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. And we ask for protection, and we know that's going to be the Holy Spirit protecting us. Mm-hmm. Okay. The reason we had you look at the different of how you describe who you are is you can be mm-hmm. a sister, mm-hmm. a daughter, a niece, 
an athlete. You can be all those things in one person. It's the relationship there that matters. So, um, mm-hmm. so let's talk a little bit about who God isn't. Okay. Sometimes I think it's, if we think about who God isn't, um, that can help us understand who he is. And so we're going to talk about, this is what I want you to do. Um, uh, page, you want to do it again? Are we going to do page? Page 88. Are we on page 88? I think we're there. We, we skipped over this, which is fine. Okay. Yeah. You go with that? Sure. All right, go to your student guide. Student guide, page 88. Uh, no yawning. There ain't no yawning here. I yawned a lot oh, yeah, earlier, yeah, yeah. so I had another cup of coffee. Page 88. Page 88. Yes. So the directions say, so this is going to be like a quiet time for reflecting. Yep. Um, write a sentence to describe each of the following words. Father, Creator, Son, Christ, Holy Spirit, and God. So write a sentence describing each of the following words. Father, Creator, Son, Christ, Holy Spirit, and God. Does anybody need to borrow mine so they can write it in their notebooks? Can you? Pay 88. Ochenta y ocho. Ochenta y ocho. Pagina ochenta y ocho. That's just me. If you if you want, you can you can you can keep your word, but that's just the word I would say. more minutes. No, another hot minute. Another hot minute. Okay. Okay. Still making my, I like those answers. I, you just earned five points for the number. Very creative. Very creative, Ben. I do. I just love it. I just, like, I love abstract. That's what I love. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Miss Bonnie. So yeah. I think we're going to go off script here, yes? Yeah, okay. Because I feel like we're sleepy and we oh need yeah, to get yeah. up. Okay. All right. So we're going to do this. Um, 
we're going to talk about four four ways to see God. Maybe yeah, four ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. So we're so going to do we're going to do the four corner game. All, all all your answers that we read were fantastic. Yeah, I amazing. loved them all. Um, one of like. Um, they all, they all stood out to me, and that's, like, that's perfect. So that leads into how you see God. So now we're going to talk about the other ways people see God. Okay. okay. So let's, it. so we're going to do the four corners game. So four let's corners. see. We're going to do. You got to explain those, because yeah. some of them don't know what that is. Okay, so we're going to do one corner over here, and we're going to see God as, anybody know the movie The Wizard of Oz? Anybody know the movie The Wizard of Oz? You know, what, yeah. where's the wizard? Where's the wizard? He's in Oz, but the Wizard of Oz, where is he, though? Where is he? He's, he's behind the curtain. Behind a curtain. Right? He's not approachable. Yeah. Right? People are scared of him. Okay. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. He's, in a, he's not approachable. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. And so we could see God like that. As an Oz. Great Oz. As a great Oz. That's going to be this corner. Okay. You think, Miss Bonnie, I'm, I'm, right yeah. here? Okay, great Oz. Great Oz. I'm going to try and draw a little map. Draw a map. This draw the room. Yeah, here's the room. In the top this one. right yeah. corner. Right. Oz. Great Oz. That's my room. Um, we could see God as a um, vending machine. Vending machine. What do you do for a vending machine? I like candy. <laughs> right? You, you put some money in, you push what you want, and what does it do? It gives me candy. It gives me candy. Yes, candy. Or it gives me trail mix. Mm-hmm. Or so it, it is. gives me Soda. Oh, like spicy Doritos. Spicy Doritos, yeah. Spicy. machine. So what you're telling me is like I put something in, I do something, and out comes something good for me. I say I want, I want, I want, boom, 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 and out it comes. Okay, okay. That's a vending machine. Okay. Um. So we got the great Oz. We got the vending machine. Okay. I might need um a hand on with the giant other. judge. <gasps> the giant judge. What does a judge do? Decide your thing. Right. Right. And You've and been I bad. I think the judge is just waiting for me to be bad. Throw right? down oh, the hammer. Bad. Hear right. ye, hear ye. Throw you behind bar. They're waiting on you to be bad, right? Mm-hmm. So that's a great judge. And the last one then is like a feel-good coach. Cosmic. Right? Cosmic. Yeah. Life cosmic, coach. A life coach. You know those self-help books, right? People, like, you can do this to, to be better and... Everything's happy, and we just want you to be fulfilled in life. That's this corner, this corner. Okay. I think. So I think you should stand up and make a decision. Who do you think God is? About where you think, where you think God is. If you think all of them or none of them, yeah. stand in the middle. Yeah. I just don't want you to get out of your seat because you, you look like you're yeah. sleeping. Do you think God is the great Oz behind the curtain? You can't talk to him. You can't ever touch him. You can't see him. He just, like, is this deep voice. Do you think God is a vending machine? If you do good, you get some good stuff out. You just you ask think, for your wants all yeah, the time. Give me, give me, give me. Do you think me. God is a giant judge? You are bad. You're going to hell. You know, like the judge. Waiting or, for you to do wrong. Waiting, waiting for you to do wrong. Or do you think God's like, oh, everything's all. Life, life is peachy. Everything's great. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. No, let's not no, sing. No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about the middle? You guys. Okay, what do you guys? You think all you think of God them? God is all none of them? None of them? Wait, wait. Do you think God is all of them, or God is none of them? All of it. Combination, Combination of all of them. Okay. All right. Guess what? You're all wrong. You're all wrong. Every everybody's wrong. God's not any of these. Okay, let's talk about the, the issue here. Okay, okay. Here's the issue. Here's okay. the issue. Shh, shh, Here's the issue. Why. If you see God as this distant, behind the curtain, inaccessible mm-hmm. person, right? That's not who God... What did we just God. say? If you're a Christian, what do you carry inside of you? The Holy Spirit. Yeah. Holy Spirit. Guess and what? God is not... And it's fine if you pick this yeah, one. No, no, no. This Everybody, was actually probably wrong. the one I would have picked. Because I'm like... Wrong. I like the Wizard of Oz. He's not, he's not inaccessible. We serve a living, Uh risen, approachable approachable Savior that we can pray. We can take our prayers to Mm -hmm. him. We're about to here in a minute. Talk about prayer. So he's not inaccessible. Mm -hmm. Now, what about a vending machine? If I'm good. Can I just go to God and say, hey, 
hey, I want, I want, I want, I yeah. want, I want, and he spits out everything I want? No. Or if I, mean, if I put in idea, money, right? if I put in money, does it, do I always get what I want? No, sometimes no. the claw doesn't release it. Release the claw, <laughs> right? And then no. I, nobody, nobody picked the judge. Nobody picked the judge. I mean, do we think that God is just waiting for us to mess up? No. I, I don't, th- I mean, Miss Bonnie, I don't serve a God that just is like, Miss Bonnie, I saw you run that red light. Yeah, I did. You're I off like, the list. It was still yellow. <laughs> no, we don't serve a vengeful God. And then what about a God that just wants us to be happy all Does the God, time? No, no, God, God like, uh, like, we, we are going to go through valleys. We're going to go through hardships, and we learn and we grow. We serve a good God. Let's not be confused yes. here. We serve a good Father who works things mm-hmm. for our good, which is actually his good. Yeah. It doesn't always feel good for us. Yeah. And, you know, we are promised in the Bible, if you're a Christian, you're going to have trouble. We're actually promised that. Um, so he doesn't just want us to float around and be all happy, smappy all the time. That's not the God we serve either. Okay, so that's not, and then a combination of all of them, really it was a combination of none of them, right? There's a little bit of issue. Where, there wasn't a correct option. I just wanted y'all to get out of your seat and move around. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted, no. Yeah. You look like you were asleep, so we, we decided to change up the script. All right, you can go back and sit down. After. Okay. What happened? All, All right, right. so have a seat. I don't know they want to do a race. I said oh, maybe after. Sword drills. So what did you learn from this? What, what did you learn? Maybe something, let's, 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 let's come up with a sentence or two that we can put in our folders. Thank you. He, he's not the strict one. He's not the free one. He's the one in the middle that loves us no matter what, right? We don't have to, like, like he's not the one that's going to give us everything that we want all the time, right? That doesn't mean we can't ask for things, but that doesn't, like, you have to accept the fact that he's not going to give you what you want all the time. Yeah. And he's not the one that says, oh, everything's great. And he's not the one that's inaccessible behind the curtain. And he's not the one that says, order, order. You messed you know, up. You, know, you messed up, You're you know? Out. So one strike and God, I love it what he, Will, I love what Will said. He loves us no matter what. Yeah. God loves us no matter what. The point here is we can't make God into what we think mm-hmm. that he is. Yeah. Right? And I love, the, our book actually says something that I just yeah. think is awesome. It says, um, what do I think is awesome here? This one, we cannot make God into what we want we God to. We cannot describe God based on who we are. But rather, we need to describe ourselves based on who God is, right? And we can talk a lot about, and we're about to move into prayer here, how we get to know God, right? How we get to know him, how we get to know what his attributes are, his goodness and his faithfulness, and how we develop that. Yeah. How do you think we do develop yeah, that? Yeah, how do we spend time with God? So if you don't know God very well, how can you get to know God better? Eleanor. Prayer. Ding, 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 ding. Coming to church. Yes. Having a conversation. Well, reading the Bible. The scripture. The truth. His word. The word. Logos. Yeah. His word. Costa? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, in the, like, when I was little... I mean, kind of sometimes now, but um, I didn't. I didn't know how to pray. Do you, does, do you, like how to pray? Like, do I just like perfect? But what if I wanted something to help guide me? You know, the Lord's Prayer. Good. We're going to talk about that at the end. Very good. But there is. There's an acronym. Do you guys know what acronyms are? You're going to want to write this one down because yep, this acronym. is really, really good. An acronym is um, some uh, like a word that used to represent different words. Does that make sense? Exactly. Here's your acronym. Yes. You ready? You ready? You ready? A C T S. Acts. This is a really good, and we're going to walk you through this, a good way to structure maybe your prayer. Mm-hmm. And A is going to stand for adoration. Ooh. 
Who can define adoration for me? Miss Bonnie's going to spell it if she can because she did. teaches I math. I did. I did. <gasps> adoration. She spelled it. Bonnie, or, um, Bobby, define it for me. Not quite. Eleanor, do you know? Right. Doesn't mean to adore something. Yeah. Well, you say, "Oh, this baby is so adorable, like my chunky monkey, my twenty-month-old. He's so adorable. You're He's so, so cute. You're I so sweet. You're adorable. What am I doing? Yes. Loving on him. I just want to eat him alive because yes. he's like sugar. Yes. Will. <laughs> Making your own. Making your own. Yeah. You want me to ask Siri? Yes, where's Siri? Oh, ask Siri. Siri. Hey, Siri. What's the meaning of adoration? Deep love and respect. Do you want to hear the remaining one? Yes. Worship, veneration. All right, Siri, what's the meaning of adoration? Oh, okay. What's the meaning of adoration? Deep love and respect. Do you want to hear the remaining one? Yes. Worship, veneration. Deep love, respect, worship. We adore. Father, we are praising. I, I, I think we may have mentioned, it's, you know, there's an order of worship. And at the beginning, we we're doing usually songs of praise. I mean, those of you that have been in the contemporary worship, you know, we do, a, there's a lot of music in there. And the point of that is that we are praising God. We are telling God how wonderful he is. You know, those things that you wrote down earlier, who God is, when you pray, when you begin with adoration, you're praying like, you are the creator, you are faithful, you are trustworthy. That's how you adore God. Or you just simply say, God, I love you. God, thank you that I'm alive today. Although, we're going to get to thanks in a yeah. minute. Oh, Sorry, yeah, yeah. I skipped ahead. You ready for um, C. Anybody want to guess what C is? What a part of prayer is, Bobby? Yeah. No. Starts with con. No, not quite. Not quite. It's confess. Confession. So after we offer our praise, then we are saying, I am sorry for right these things that I've done, my sin, the things I know I should do that I don't sin of omission confession i'm putting i'm putting sorry for sin which, sorry for sin know, sorry for sin that's confession just, we will talk we're going to talk more about sin in the future next week i think yeah next week we're going to talk about sin but i'm going to give you a preview right now it's the thing that separates us from god period and you're going to ask what is sin and you're going to say it's the things that separate us from god period anything yep. that separates us from god so we are going to confess our sins. Father, I have, I have sinned against you. I have not loved my neighbor. I have um, kicked angry. the dog. I would never kick, kick the, dog. the dog. I would never have kicked the dog. I want you to know that. But anything that, like, I have um, uh, I've worshipped money. Um, I have um, disobeyed my mom. parents. Yeah, I was going to say. You know, I have cheated on a test. Um, I didn't do my homework when I was supposed to. You know, I'm giving you, def I'm giving you, def I've lied, I've stolen, I've, I've um, went and ate a cookie when my mom told me not to. I ate a lot of cookies, but my mom <laughs> told me not to, honestly. <laughs> but you know what uh, I'm saying? Yes, all so those things. Those are all different, different sins. So you confess, you say, Father, I am sorry for the sins that I've committed. I'm sorry for the sins that I've done and the sins that I don't even realize that I've done. Yeah. You know? And so T, I said it earlier. What did I say? I started it. Yes. Thanksgiving. Yes. Thanksgiving. Right. That. That's probably. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Yes. You know, I think as children, a lot of mm -hmm. our prayer is the T and the S. Yeah. The Thanksgiving. Penis. Thank you for my mom mm -hmm. and dad. Thank you for my aunt and uncle. Thank you for my puppy dog. Thank you that I made an A on the test. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Thank you, I passed my class. Those are the thanks, the Thanksgiving. And then the S is a big word. Ooh. Supplication. Supplication. Anybody know what supplication means? Okay. 
So think about what we've not touched on in a prayer that you probably do a lot. Bobby? Not quite. Add two. Add two. How you would end up? Not quite. Ford, Nina? Uh-huh. And said so the supplication. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yes. Bringing, bringing like your needs, right, and others' needs to God. And you know what? God already knows what our needs are. But because we're here, yeah, before you ask him. Um. But, but he wants us to bring them to him because he wants us to trust that he's going to meet them. Do I have to do this every time? No. Do, do I have to do ACTS every single time? No. No, it is just one model. It's just one model to help you start praying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes all you have to do is just like maybe get down on your knees in front of your bed and just say God over and over and over again, mm -hmm. yeah. right? Or help me, help me, help me, help me over and over again. You can pray however you see fit, mm -hmm. right? The you important thing is <coughs> to pray. To pray. Nina, you want to add something? Did you have a question for her? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Sometimes when I can't think what to pray, mm -hmm. I will just go through the alphabet, mm -hmm. A to Z, and I'll just say, God, you are awesome. You are um, the bread of, I'll just start going down all of his attributes. Beyond you are caring. Comparable, yeah. You are, and I'll just go all the way A to Z <coughs> if I can't think of something to pray for. If I just need to say, to pray in the car, I'll do that. Ford, you got some that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they're just a, a thank you, right, right. And like we said, this is just a, a structure, a model that you can use um, to help you as you, because how are we going to know God? Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you know your friend? You talk to them. Mm -hmm. You spend time with them. So guess what? Same thing applies with how do you know God? Mm -hmm. You talk to them. You spend time with them. Um, does anybody ever go to the traditional worship service, right? There's an order of worship, and there's different prayers, right? You follow me? Like, um, there's communal prayer, and then, like, communal prayer where we all say the, the same prayer. Like, um, the, uh, Lord's prayer. the Lord's Prayer, we say that. Um, there's different prayers inside the hymnal that have been written to help guide. So there's not one right way. I guess, well, sorry, there is one right way. Just talk to God. Just talk to God. Yeah. The, the, the right way is to just talk to God, right? You follow me on that? Prayer. Just talk to God. <laughs> You can, you can tell them about your day. Slogan. Sometimes when I'm having a very stressful day at the very end of the day as I'm, like, going to bed and I'm struggling with sleep, like, I really want to go to sleep, mm -hmm. I, just start, I just start talking to God. No, I'm not even melatonin. I just start talking to God, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm just like, hey, God, these are the things that have been going on in my life. Mm -hmm. um, give me some guidance. Yeah. I th you know, thank you so much for keeping yeah. me alive today, yeah. that kind yeah, of thing. That's a good point, Miss Bonnie. Do you have to pray in the evening mm -hmm. or the morning? When do you pray? Anytime. 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 Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm a morning person. I pray in the morning. I, I, if I prayed at night, it would look like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, when the 20-month-old is screaming in my ear because he is struggling to go to sleep, I'm praying, praying. over him. Lots of prayer. I'm like, Heavenly Father, please, <laughs> like, just watch over this young child, you know? Like, uh, help him help go <laughs> to sleep. sleep. <laughs> please, because I've only had three hours of sleep, and I'm on six cups of coffee. Uh. Okay. <laughs> I know. Thank you. I know. Um, so all of these things um, can help us. So this is just one model. Is it the model? Is it the thing to do every single time? No. You should have an answer to that. No. What is the number one thing to do? Talk to God. Talk Boom. To God. Put that down in your, in your notes. Talk number one. to talk God. To God. Number one thing, That's talk to God. Know him. And that's how you get to know a friend. Like, you, if you want God to be your best friend, you got to get to know him. Mm -hmm. You got to talk to him. Mm -hmm. You got to hang out with him. But you also got to listen. You got to listen, too. Is I mean, I could be friends, but like, oh, Miss Stephanie's my friend. But if I do all the talking, is she really my friend? No. So you got to, I got to, I got to let Miss Stephanie talk to me, too. 
Yeah. Oh my God. Okay, so there are some sticky notes. Right? There are sticky notes somewhere on your Should table. Should be sticky notes at your table. Right? Or in your folder. Okay. You're going to take a couple of minutes whispering with your, the people at your table. And we're going to jump to the supplication. We're going to jump to the supplication. We all love, respect, and adore God. We all know that we have sinned and fallen short. We all know that we are giving thanks to him for all the many gifts that he's given to us. But we want to take a minute and ask for supplication. What can God do for you and your friends? How can you ask for needs to God? Okay, so you can share them. I would like you to share them at your table. Um, you can put them on your sticky note, but I really, we really want you to talk to others about it. Okay, so just take a minute and it'll be okay, Clara. It'll be okay. So um, she's like, no, I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> it'll be okay. It's not, it's not good. Shia was like, I don't want to talk to any. Will's like, I got two girls at my table. You can mention one thing that, that you would like to have. Was Ryan. Sorry. Was Will. Prayer Will. over. Was Will. Will's over there. Was Ryan. So you just, what do you have? So take a, take a, take a, take a couple minutes and talk to people at your table. Go talk. Talk now. You could even pick one person to do the writing. Ooh, I need more coffee. Need more coffee. Oh. Let me. You got some good notes in there. You got one sticky note? Where's your one sticky note? Is it right here? You got your one sticky note? Everybody? This is everybody's? Okay. Is this everybody's? He's writing it. Is this everybody's still writing it? Is this everybody's? No, no. Oh, sunflower seeds. Where's your one sticky note? You got it yet? Thank you. One sticky note. Oh, oh. Which table have I forgotten? Did I get my one sticky note yet? Oh my goodness. Just put down some words. Let's go. Hustle it up. Get a sticky note. Write down some words. Y'all are killing me. See this? Your one sticky note. Thank you. I, d I just read it. Oh, that's a great question. I didn't think about that. Maybe at the end. Okay, you got it. Thank you. Anybody else? Did I get all your sticky notes, ladies? Okay, got it. Morgan's got it. Put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Okay. So, okay, okay. Some of these are fantastic, and some of them they need to go deeper. 
let's just say that. So <laughs> some of them they need to go deeper. Like mm, and anyway, anyway, y'all know. So um, remember, like we want you to reflect. We want you to to draw closer to God. Um, so. So, like, it's making me giggle inside, but it's also making me a little sad. Like, it's making me giggle, but it's also making me a little sad. So, um, we are, that, I mean, that one's a good one. Um, and then, this, this is a little, okay. But, um, so, family, safety, um, keep us safe, love us, um, be authentic. I like that one. I'm going to stop right there. We need to be authentic. Can somebody tell me what be authentic means? What does it mean to be authentic? That's it. Yeah, and this is a good place, Miss Bonnie. I think to be authentic, right? Yes. yes. When you walk in this door, I think r- you have an hour and yeah. fifteen minutes, and you want to. There's a lot of good information here. You don't want to waste your time. Yeah. You know, you want to dig deep into what we're sharing, um, and you do that by being authentic, being open. Yeah. So. I would say the antonym. Do you guys know what the word antonym means? The antonym of, th- of authentic. Does anybody know what the opposite of authentic is? What do you think? Just shout it out. Copy, fake. fake I would go. Yeah. I would say copy and fake. Yeah. You don't want to be. You don't want to be fake. You want to be. God knows. God knows what's really on your heart. Yeah. So you just go to Him and you just talk to Him. Period. We don't need to be fake. We don't need to be silly. We don't need to be. Yeah, we don't, yeah, be authentic. Okay, so in a minute, Miss Stephanie's going to read some scripture, and we want you to close your eyes. This is coming from, um, well, let's read the Elijah scripture first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me set the stage for you, Mm -hmm. okay? Elijah is a prophet who had just challenged, like, Mm -hmm. God Baal, that all these people were Mm -hmm. worshiping, and he had run from them for fear of his life. And he was disappointed because he felt like the people had lost their way. They weren't following God. And he was just in a place, a really low place. He thought that he was alone. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to read this scripture from Elijah. I want you to listen to it and think about where and how that he heard the voice of the Lord. And this is from 1 Kings. If you want to look it up later, it's in the Old Testament. So just listen. I'm going to read this. And close your eyes and just listen, because we're going to get quiet here for a few minutes as we end this evening. Elijah was afraid, and he ran for his life. When he came to Beersheba in Judah, he had left his servant there, while he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness. He came to a broom bush, bush, sat down under it, and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said. Take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the bush and fell asleep. All at once an angel touched him and said, Get up and eat. He looked around, and there by his head was some bread, baked over hot coals in a jar of water. He ate and drank and then lay down again. The angel of the Lord came back a second time and touched him and said, Get up and eat, for the journey is too much for you. So he got up and ate and drank. Strengthened by that food, he traveled forty days and forty nights, until he reached Horeb, the mountain of God. There he went into a cave and spent the night. And the word of the Lord came to him. What are you doing here, Elijah? He replied, I have been very zealous for the Lord God Almighty. The Israelites have rejected your covenant, torn down your altars, and put your prophets to death with a sword. I'm the only one left, and now they are trying to kill me too. The Lord said, go out and stand on the mountain in the presence of the Lord, for the Lord is about to pass by. Mm -hmm. Then a great and powerful wind tore the mountains apart and shattered the rocks before the Lord. But the Lord was not in the wind. After the wind, there was an earthquake, but the Lord was not in the earthquake. After the earthquake came a fire, but the Lord was not in the fire and after the fire came a gentle whisper when elijah heard it he pulled his cloak over his face and went out and stood at the mouth of the cave 
Then a voice said to him, What are you doing here, Elijah? So where was the voice of the Lord? Not in the fire, not in the wind, not in the earthquake, not in the earthquake. The voice of the Lord was in a tiny whisper, right? And I think we miss the opportunity to hear the voice of the Lord because we don't get still. And that's very hard for us to do as teenagers, as adults, to get still. But that's often where we're going to hear the voice of the Lord is when we get quiet in a whisper. I was just remembering when, um, remember when I had, like, I forgot my lunch and I went back home to get my lunch, but then my lunch was on in the passenger seat of my car. And then I forgot that I put my lunch in my office, but my lunch, and so I went back to my car to get my lunch, but my lunch wasn't there. But yeah, I, I had, yeah. So this was what, like, Five weeks ago, five weeks ago, I was like, where's my lunch? So I had put it in the, yeah. Anyways, I needed to slow down. A lot of us have a lot of things going on in our lives. We have a lot of activities. We have a lot of homework. We have a lot of um, sports. We have a lot of friends. We have a lot of Snapchats to do. We have a lot of notifications going on, right? Well, I want to challenge you to turn off your notifications, Just for a night, turn them off and just focus in on talking to God. Put your phone in jail. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Okay? I mean, Farmville pops up on my... No, actually, I turned off the notifications for Farmville. I just want you to know that. Uh, You don't know what Farmville is? No, it's a game. It's a little app. I'm anyways, you don't need to do it. It's just notifications. It's like, um, what is that, Bejeweled or oh, yeah. um, Candy Crush? You know, turn off notifications. Anyways, so be still and know that he is God. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're going to challenge you tonight. I want you to, just tonight, what do you, when your parents say, hey, what did you learn? You can say, I learned about the Trinity. I learned about that prayer and how to listen to God. All right, so Miss Stephanie's going to read something to you. But each time she reads it, just think about the words. So let's, um, let's just sit still for a minute and close our eyes before we go. And I'm going to read Psalm 9610. And I just want you to think about, here's what I want you to think about while I'm reading this, is I want you to think about what you wrote down on how you would describe God. So focus on either him being creator him being holy, his love, his faithfulness. I just want you to think about that for just a second. And this is from Psalms 9610. And when I'm done, I'll pray. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am Be still and know. Be still. Father, we just love you. We thank you for being our creator. We thank you for loving us back. We know in the busyness of our day that our attention is elsewhere, and so I just pray for these confirmands that you would carve out a time for them, even if it's just a minute at the end of their day, for them to be still and quiet, because we know that's how you speak to our hearts, Father, in a quiet whisper. So prepare our hearts and our minds to be open to that, to be listening for your voice. I thank you for the lessons that we've learned so far. I thank you tonight for knowing and learning about who you are, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I just pray as we go through the last four weeks of confirmation that you would just mold 
our hearts and our minds and be open to the truth that you would have us learn about you, who you are, and who we are in you. Let's pray over these confirmands and thank you for each of them. We love you and we ask all this in your mighty name. Amen. So homework, Ms. Bonnie. Here's our homework for this week. Ms. Bonnie's got sticky notes over our homework. Let's see, we are on page 100. Yep, page 100. Oh, no, we didn't do that part, Miss Bonnie. We didn't do that one? I think we need just to do 102. We didn't do First Kings. We will, we will, well, it's Lord's oh, Prayer. Oh, yeah, we didn't do Lord's Prayer. Yeah, so let's page, go to page 102. Page 102, the sound of silence. What, what we just talked about with Elijah's story. Think back to the story of Elijah in the cave or open up your Bible, refresh your memory. That is it, page 102. And then I think back on page 96 where they can write out their own prayer. 96, yep. So 96 right and 102. 96 and 102. 96 and 102. 96 and 102. Two pages. And we will have 96 and, and page 102. Not 96 through 102. No, no. Page 96, period. <laughs> page 102, <laughs> period. period. I think next week we'll have snacks. Yeah, I'm, I'll do a better yeah. job. Yeah, I'm going to do a better job. We dropped the ball tonight. It's been a crazy, yeah. crazy. I mean, I got a, two, I got a four-year-old and yeah. a 20 yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, if you need to talk to me, Miss Stephanie, or Mr. Aaron, please feel free to stay and chat. Otherwise, have a great week. Okay, so we need to wrap it up, and um, does anybody have any pressing prayer requests? Any pressing prayer requests? Kayla, pressing prayer requests. Miss Stephanie's looking for a pen. Maybe there you go. Just take Ella's. I'm just kidding. Pressing prayer requests. Caleb. Mom. Okay, so let's just, we, God knows exactly what our pressing prayer request is, so you can just say a name. Mom. Okay. Um, Grandpa. Grandpa, we just, God got it. God's got it. I'm gonna put down um, husband. What else? Yeah, dad. Um, that was a good one. Um, Ella. What? Aunt. Brother. 
who's that? That was who's that? What was it? What was her name? What was her name? Morgan. Morgan. And Miss Stephanie loves praying over people and the requests of those people. She's really better at that than I am. I'm just saying, hey God, you you heard it. I don't remember anything, God, but you heard it. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else have a pressing prayer request or grades? Or stress. CBAs. 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 Or stress. Eleanor. Or okay. mental health. Or happiness. Mm. You know? <laughs> All the above. Yeah. Well, let's pray. And then if you have one that you're pressing yeah. and you want to come talk to me, Miss Bonnie. Absolutely. We always hang out after, so you can always come up and talk to us after. But in the interest of time, let's, yeah. let's pray. Let's bow our heads. Father, thank you for being in control. Thank you for the knowledge that we know we can trust you because you keep your promises. And Father, I just pray for these prayer requests that we've lifted up. You know the situation. And we're just going to claim that you can do more than we can ask or imagine in every situation. So thank you, Father. We just claim that ahead of time. And we know you walk before us. You're the Alpha and Omega. You've already lined out our days and our steps. And so we are going to confidently, in our faith and trust, follow you. And I just pray now that you would help us be strong and courageous, help us to finish the week out well, give us stamina to finish our CDAs and the other things going on at school, and to enjoy the long weekend before us. We ask all this in your precious and holy name. Amen. 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 Don't forget about your homework. Sign up for the confirmation retreat. Oh, yeah. Sign up for the confirmation retreat. Tonight, confirmation retreat. If you've not signed up, sign up. If you borrowed a Bible, please return it. It's going to be a blast. Y'all have a great night.